in Ghana. Ghana. World Peace Center is connecting the worlds and so people can learn about each other's culture. Uh, today we celebrate in the Ghanaian independent celebration. Ghana was the first country to gain independence from the British. And most of our celebration is cultural dancing, which uh, identifies different cultures of Ghana. So it's, it's the right place to share our culture with the people of San Diego. Bringing everyone together, you know, it's, it's about the world, the music, unity through music, art, and culture. And with music, music has no color. Y me pido derecho y gallo para curar mi malengue. So you couldn't patent it to be black, or you can't patent it to be white, or anything. It has no color. <laughs> the World Beat Center is a big drum. It's round. There's something about being around. Just, you know, being around building. The energy just moves, you know, round okay. to th this building. Okay. <laughs> Babacar is from Senegal, and he is the number one drummer in this town. He's from Africa, and he's, he's great. He, he's a master drummer. He also does the sapar drum, and he does the djembe, and that's what we teach. Djembe is very popular drum. Okay, slap. The kids, is incredible because they're our future citizens, our children. And through drumming, we teach them anger management. We teach them to understand all cultures, tolerance, peace, and inner awareness. And they got it. They got it. And one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. They actually give to one another. You know, I've seen a lot of times in my classes, uh, a child will correct another child. What it does, it balances out their right brain and left brain. Very good. They find out they have more in common than different with other cultures One around more. the world. They learn another language that they probably would never learn. Um, they learn how to work together as a group in diversity. Very good. One more time and It's helped my son um, counting and with his ABCs, and um, like you said before, he was kind of shy, but now he's very outgoing. And it's, it's incredible, and especially if you saw the disabled. If you see the disabled people, they, it just opens them up. It makes them so free, and, and it, it hits their heart. We were looking for some place where the kids could do music and I uh, walked into World Beat Center because I heard about Makeda and uh, she, op she welcomed me with open arms. Some of our students don't speak but as soon as they get on the drums they became another person. They love music and music is just a great way for them to express themselves. Jason is a, a student of autism and uh, you saw him today, he gets, on the, he gets on the drums and it's just a great way for him to express himself. He just comes alive. And a lot of times he doesn't smile that much, but he comes here and he's smiling the whole time. <laughs> and that's what happens to drumming. It's right inside of us, in, in our inner core, you know, in our heart. Ancestors were here years and years ago. They brought seeds with them and they spread seeds here. And that's why we have plants that, even in this little garden right here, we have plants that come from all over the world. So there are plants that are originally from Africa. There are plants that are from Asia. There are plants that are from South America and India. And um, through the plants that we have here, we can learn a lot about who, who the different cultures of people were. And so we take the children and we show them that this is grown in this plot of land and this relates to this tribe or these people. Kids can't touch anything. In the museums they can't touch things. 
but we like them to touch. It's so important that they're able to touch and smell. This opens up their senses. What, what happened is that was Market Street was going to be a Martin Luther King way. And they to took they the signs down because the businessmen didn't King want the street man. named after Martin Luther King. So we, World Beat Center and World Beat Productions, started having Martin Luther King Day. Happy Women's History Month. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Nappy black pigtails and ruffled dresses. Symbols of a day long past, when the greatest fear in my life was falling asleep with the lights off and feeling my grandmother's ghost drift by my bedside. We say every day is Kwanzaa around here. Seven days a week is Kwanzaa. We don't stop with the holiday. We're going to play on Kwanzaa here. Uh, the kids put it on. We continue to try to, try to you know, have a Kwanzaa celebration that everyone's invited, not just black, just everyone. So it's very important that people know our culture. We have a proud and rich culture. dance you know we do African dance right here at, at the World Beat Center great instructor Adamant from Senegal African dance is so crucial and you get, you get to move around and just open up those different you know parts of your body and so we're teaching that to children too right here on OneWorldRadioTV.com we have our internet station OneWorldRadioTV.com and it's streaming all over the, all over the world Definitely. I mean, I just got Australia emailed me and day. said, you know, we Mr. finally Rudolph. got our first indigenous station in um, Sydney. So? so we're streaming all over the world. We're streaming reggae. Reggae music, I can walk into any country and reggae music is alive. I would like the public to know that, you know, culture is something that is alive. It's, it's all right to be different and yet we're not different and that we're all one. And we all should come and partake and drink in the nectar of oneness. We're dealing with the love vibration, you know. We're healing our communities, you know. We're embracing our communities and our people. So I invite everyone to come, you know. If, you know, just don't walk by, come in and be a part of, of culture, in your own culture. Hey, DJ.